Hey, my name is Michael Gardner, founder of DFY Meetings and B2Boutbound.io. In today's video, we're talking about three unique ways that you can get clients for your social media marketing agency or just your B2B business in general. Now, I like to talk a lot about outbound social DMs and cold email, and those things are fantastic, and I really mean it. However, maybe you're in a really, really competitive industry, or you just want to look at some other unique alternatives to get clients. And the truth is there are hundreds of ways to get clients. And I was trying to think today, what are three things that I have seen people do really well that aren't well heard of? So maybe it's your first time even hearing of them. And also I haven't made videos on previously. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to drop three of these unique methods. Now, before we jump into it, if you're looking for even more unique methods to get clients along with guides on how to do so, over at b2boutbound.io, link below, will show you everything you need to get over 100 sales calls per month. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Drop it. Now, the first method of getting clients is owning a self lead gen podcast. I've seen a lot of people do this really well, and it's a super unique way to get clients. So let's say, for example, that you are doing a really competitive service. Let's say you're offering Facebook ads for e-commerce brands. It's very difficult to get clients through cold email from organic content. It's a bit easier, but it's just hard in general because there's a lot of noise in the space and it's difficult to tell like who's legit if you're hiring, like it's a very competitive market. So how could you build authority and trust with these brands? Well, what a lot of people have done, and I've seen this work for quite a few people, is they set up a podcast. So let's say that my agency is called, which I'm just making this up, let's say um, e-commerce, wow, I'm just making this up here. That is the name of my, podcast, uh, my agency. So I would start with the e-commerce, Wow, interview podcast. So I'm gonna start a podcast where I'm going to interview e-commerce founders about their story. So this is gonna get me two things here. So the first benefit from having a podcast is going to be getting more exposure organically by people listening to the podcast. So who are the people who are gonna be listening to the podcast? A lot of Ruby e-commerce founders. So I can go and interview e-commerce founders on my podcast and the people who are likely going to be interested to listen to it are going to be e-commerce founders. Now, here's what's really cool about this. Imagine if you were an e-commerce founder, you're going to get 10, 20 cold emails a day from people pitching you Facebook ads. But imagine one of those emails says, hey, I have a podcast where we interview successful e-commerce founders. It's completely free to be on. You'll be shared to our audience who might be interested in your products when you can have a backlink to your website. It's gonna help me for credibility. And it only takes 15 minutes. We'd love to hear your story. That's a really easy yes. You're not asking for anything. You're offering to give something. So we're going to say yes. So on top of the people who are just naturally listening to your podcast for whatever means you promote it or just organic, you can target people who are your dream clients and interview them. Now, over the course of a 15, 30 minute interview, you can set up really good relationships. You're talking to someone, having fun, it's non-threatening. And at the end of that 15, 30 minute interview, which you're also establishing yourself as an expert, you're interviewing them, you can say, hey, would it be okay to do an Attico audit? Or what, what are you doing with marketing? And actually insert yourself into a friendly position of maybe I can help you out. So rather than, hey, book a call with me, let's jump right into it. It's a way for them to get exposure. It's non-threatening, it builds a relationship, and then you can turn around and insert your service. And if you're interviewing two, three people a week, I'm sure it's the way you get one or two clients a month. I know for a fact people do this. For example, I was recently on a podcast um, talking about financial management for entrepreneurs, like how you manage your finances, and it's a financial planner who runs a podcast. And at the end of an interview, he asked me about my personal finance goals, and sure enough, I have a discovery call coming up with him because I liked him, I talked to him, I trust him, he gave me something. So naturally, I was interested in hearing what he said. Now, if he had just pitched me, hey, Michael, I want to help you manage your finances. I don't know who you are. I, I would have responded probably. Um, so that's a really unique way to get clients. And we also talk about friction a lot. 
there's a lot more friction, a lot more difficulty to do this than just to send a cold email. So less people are going to do it. And ultimately, there's going to be less competition. Let's clean this up a little bit just to reiterate. I'm going to own a self lead gen podcast. So we're going to get more exposure to people who are listening to your podcast, build relationships through ICP. And the flow here is going to be set up your podcast, cold email founders to be interviewed, create relationships, and ask about their marketing, insert your service in a non threatening way. So little recap made that cleaner here. And that is a self lead gen podcast. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into a software partnership campaign and how you can use that to get yourself clients. So setting up software partnerships are awesome. Essentially what we want to do here is we want to look at who do we serve and what softwares do they use and how can we add value to those softwares and in exchange have them refer us people. So let's take Myself, for example, I do cold email for B2B business owners, and I also have a cold email training program for B2B business owners. So my clients, they need to, let's say, they need to build a website. And for building a website, I recommend ClickFunnels, let's say, for example. Now, ClickFunnels, they might get questions from people saying, well, how do I get people to go into my ClickFunnel and buy? And ClickFunnels naturally wants people to go and buy from their users because they're going to get higher retention. So imagine if I went to ClickFunnels, and this is a bit of a big jump here, maybe smaller software to start. And I said, hey, can I create a free workshop on how to get uh, clients to your ClickFunnel for cold email to help you for your retention? And I offered to give that to them and their support team can hand it out whatever they want. Or maybe I added a video in their training vault, something like that. Or maybe I did a special where I put ClickFunnels inside my YouTube channel and they did the same. Again, this is a very big example. ClickFunnels, but on a smaller scale, Great. Well, that's going to be awesome because I'm getting exposed to a bunch of people who are my buyers. I'm also solving a problem for them. Well, let's say, for example, this is, this is great for really competitive industries. Let's say like, if you're targeting dentists, dentists are terrible to target, really difficult. Uh, so let's say you're targeting dentists. I guarantee you there's 10, 15 softwares that are made for dentists. And there's probably some way that you can either refer them your users, you can provide value to their users, or create some reason for them to want to send you people. And if you do this, you're going to naturally have warm handoffs. It's not cold. It's going to be even more set for the sale. And if you do this with multiple companies, it can be a great lead source. This is one I do myself. I have partnerships around three or four software companies, and we get around a client or two per month through these partnerships. Now, I probably could grow this even more. I'm very focused on cold outreach, so it's not one of my main things I do. But on the side, it's awesome. And especially if your cold outreach is really struggling in a hard industry, this can be a great idea to go ahead and get yourself some more clients. Now, the third one is also one that I use on occasion, and I have gotten clients this way. It's not one I actively put way too much energy into, um, but I have used it in the past, and it has worked, and it still works. I know other people who use it and make it work for them, and that is Reddit. So if you're not familiar with Reddit, Reddit is a forum website that has a forum for literally everything, including most business types as well. So let's say that you offered sales consulting. There are many subreddits around sales. And if you were to go to those subreddits and post really valuable information about sales, kind of like a Facebook group posting strategy, people are going to engage with it. People are going to go engage with it, ask questions. You can answer those questions. And then naturally, it can lead to a conversation in the direct messages on Reddit. And that's where you can go ahead and insert your service. Back in the day when I was offering Instagram growth services back in like 2015, 2016, I would go on social media forums on how to grow on social media and Reddit. And I would post really valuable info. I would leave comments on other people's questions. And I would get a bunch of DMs. I'd move people to a phone call and I could sell them my service. And unlike a Facebook group where people expect you to do this because everybody's kind of trying to sell their own service in like a nice, let me answer your question way. It's not that common on Reddit and it can work really well, especially if there's a subreddit based around your industry or your service. It can, it can be great. So there you go, guys. These are three unique ways to get clients. You know, you don't need to do all of these. You shouldn't do every method at once, but if you're really struggling or you wanted some unique ideas, I really hope this helped. Now, if you want even more help with your prospecting to get over 100 sales calls every single month, go ahead and check out the training I've linked below. Um, there'll be a link to it. It's free. It's around 20 minutes, and it's just purely everything I do to get over 100 calls every single month. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and leave a like, and I will see you in the next video.